Hello and good day. Welcome to my life lesson series. It is today's episode of Life Lesson 62. Always treat customer with respect. I'll be narrating a story which I had heard long time back. It may have happened in London with Maharaja of a princely state of British India. A Maharaja of princely state in British India has said to be a fabulously wealthy ruler. It was in the 1920s during his visit to London. One day the Maharaj was talking and walking in the Bond Street with his friends in casual dress. There he was to see a luxury showroom. He went inside. He looked at the cars and inquired about the price and the features of the car. The salesman looked at him, saw his casual Indian attire. He considered him to be just another poor Indian citizen and insulted him and almost showed him the way out of his showroom. After this insult, the Maharaja didn't say a single word to the salesman, but went back to his hotel room and asked his servants to make a call to the showroom and tell them that the Maharaja of a princely state of India is interested in purchasing their cars. The call was made and everyone at the showroom prepared for the welcome of the Maharaja. After a few hours, the Maharaja went to the showroom. But this time, he went with his full entourage and in his royal costume. When he reached, there was a red carpet ready on the floor of the showroom to welcome him. All the salesmen bowed down with respect. The Maharaja purchased all six cars that he had at the showroom at the time and paid the full amount with delivery costs. The salesmen at the showroom were really happy about the sales, but no one knew what was coming in near future. After reaching India, the Maharaj ordered the municipal department of his city to use all those six cars for cleaning and transporting city waste. And world's number luxury car, which were only for the costly and not for the common man who couldn't afford it, and it was only bought in America and Europe and were not being used for transportation for cities waste. Oh my God, this news spread all over the world. Rapidly, the reputation of the company was grossly impacted, affected. The company's image was tarnished, so much so that in America and in Europe, if someone used to boast about owning that brand of car, people would laugh and make fun. Oh, which one? The same which is used in India for carrying waste of city. Due to such reputational damage, salesmen could not sell the car. The sales of the car plummeted. The revenue of the company nosedived. The manufacturer had to do something to save its reputation. They sent a telegram to the Maharaja to tender their apology on behalf of their salesmen. They also requested him to stop transportation of the waste in their branded cars. Not only that, they also offered six new cars to the Maharaja free of cost. When the Maharaja was absolutely sure the manufacturer had learned the lesson and they were sorry for their mistakes, the Maharaja stopped using those cars for carrying wastes. The story ends here, but the lesson it gives us is never underestimate the customer. Reputation of your company depends on the behavior of every individual employee of our company and especially if they are into customer relationship. With this, I come to the end of Life Lesson 62. Like, share and subscribe to my channel. Please switch on the bell icon so that you can get notification when my new episodes are released. Have a good day ahead and bye-bye.